I'm with Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Okay, so we're on a GE refrigerator that is not getting water out of this out of the dispenser. Uh, we did put the controls to water and pressing the button, and we're we're definitely not getting water. Uh, we we are getting ice. Uh, so the, the first thing that we're going to do is isolate the whole problem and go down to the bottom and see if we're getting water from the water line uh, to here. So we're going to go down there, take off the connection and check it out. Uh, the, the tools that you'll need to unfreeze the water line <coughs> and check the saddle valve and copper tubing are a heat gun to unfreeze the line, a half inch wrench to loosen the, the saddle valve and a uh, little piece of wire to uh, kind of route out the copper line. Okay, so we're, we're gonna check the uh, water line connection down here and we're gonna start by opening up the doors and removing the tow panel. to gain access to our water valve. Okay, so now we're gonna just remove one side of the water line. And we will have to close this door so that the water will actually dispense. And we're gonna hit the call for water. And we can see that water is, is coming at least up to here. So we know that between here and here, it's actually frozen. And it is a common problem with the, the side-by-sides. So you can either leave the door open for a while or the fix for this is to either uh, try and get some kind of heat um, in there and continuously run the water until we actually get water out of there or leave the freezer door open for an, an extended period of time until it actually thaws out that water line. Okay, so uh, one, one technique is uh, to take a heat gun and just try and throw some warm air in there and then uh, put it up through the hose in there as well. Just to try and get some heat in there to thaw the line out. Okay, so we're, we're, we're now, we are getting water out through the, the door dispenser. Uh, we've tightened the, the John Guest fitting connection down at the bottom and checked for leaks. We're going to put the tow panel back on and run several gallons of water through the dispenser to make sure we get good flow. Okay, so we're now gonna open up the doors. It's the easiest way to get the tow panel back on. Uh, there's a little clip at the bottom to properly seat this fitting and connection. So we'll get that in there. And then while the door is open, slide the, the toe panel or kick panel back on. Okay, uh, we have a refrigerator that's not getting the greatest water supply or water pressure. Uh, so we're gonna check it at the saddle valve and see if there aren't any obstructions either in the valve or in the line. So the first thing we're gonna do is just turn this valve off to stop the water flow. And just loosen this connection. Make sure you hold on to the valve because it you don't want it shifting on you, causing any other problems. So we're just gonna take that connection loose. And if we visually look at the, the diameter of the copper tubing, uh, you can see some white sediment in there. So we're gonna, we're gonna clean that out. And uh, we're also gonna check the, the, the valve itself and the way I like to do that is just put a little, little other piece on there. 
tighten it up and we're just going to run it into this into this bucket to see what kind of pressure we're getting out of the the valve itself so with just the valve once we open that we can see it's it's coming out real good so we should have better pressure upstairs so it's not the valve we just have some uh, deposits in the copper tubing that will get rid of hook that back up check for leaks and then go back upstairs and check the water pressure again so we're just going to take a piece of wire and route that out and just remove anything that might be in there you know certainly you can uh, recut and make the connection if there's if it's too bad but this was just a little bit in there so we, we have that out now. Okay, we're gonna reseat the water line to the saddle valve and tighten that up. We're gonna secure the valve before we tighten it. Put a little wrench on it. Now we're gonna turn our valve back on and make sure we're not getting any leaks. So with our valve full on, no leaks, we're gonna go back up to the refrigerator and see if our water pressure has increased. All right, so we have uh, cleaned out the, the saddle valve and tubing, and now we're gonna check to see if we're getting better water pressure. Yeah, we're uh, checking the, the water flow right now uh, after we've uh, cleaned out the saddle valve and tubing. Uh, we're just running some water through the system. Uh, we can definitely see that we're getting uh, a better flow rate and now we're just purging the system. Thank you for watching another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.